you have some of these long scarves in your wardrobe but you don't know how to wear them so they just hang around and never get worn? Well, today we're gonna cover 10 ways to wear longer scarves, so let's dive right in. So I have four different scarves here. I've been kind of on a binge of these longer length scarves. They're having a moment right now and I'm happy to join in that moment because I love to wear them with outfits all the time. They keep my neck warm. They look a little bit elevated and I just think they are really on point for this season. And you can wear them for years and years. They are not something that goes out of style. They really look lovely. So I'm gonna show you 10 ways to wear them, but I'm gonna provide links to all four of the scarves I'm showing in this video and they'll be in the description below. You can just click on show more and it'll show you all the links. So this one is, these are all from Lily Pulitzer. This one is called Julie. It has kind of a elevated holiday look with like jewels and pineapples and flamingos and a nice navy tassel trim to anchor it. I've got this gold scarf. You've probably seen me wear a dozen times. I love it. Um, and it's exactly the same as the navy scarf and they're all very generously sized. And then I got this one. It's really, you could wear this all year round and it would be super cute. It's got lots of bright colors in it, lots of greens and aquas. My 10 favorite ways to wear these scarves. The first way is this way right here. It's the way I wear them all the time. What I do is I just kind of clump it up like that. I don't fold it or anything, just clump it. So it gives it some really nice drape that and wrap it around the back of my neck. And then see this hole here? I just pull these tails through the loop, tighten that up and make sure my microphone's not getting in the way. And this is my absolute favorite way to wear the scarf. These scarves are so generously sized that look at this, you can easily wear this as a shawl. So if you have a holiday party or an event coming up or you know a wedding, these are a go-to. You can just wrap it around like this. It elevates any look. You've got some, you know, the really pretty fringe and tassel detail at the bottom. And I just think that's a great way to finish off your look. If it's a neat evening event, it puts a little warmth on your shoulders. Even though these are light, they do provide a really nice amount of warmth. And then the next thing you can do, if you want this a little bit more anchored and you don't wanna be messing around with it all the time, you can tie this. I'm gonna do it under my microphone. So you could just tie it in front like that and it'll keep it anchored a little bit better. And I like it a little off my shoulders, so this looks really great with dresses and fancy outfits and it can elevate. Even if you were wearing a blazer, you could put this on over top of the blazer for a really elevated look. And then another simple change, you can take that same look like this and have it hanging like that. I like to pull up on one side a little so this side has a little bit more room. And then you're just gonna throw that over your shoulder and you know, give it some drape. I don't wanna cover up my microphone. So you're just gonna have it like that. And another really pretty look, great way to wear it. Great for evenings out, it'll keep you nice and warm. And then this style I'm gonna show you is a very European way to wear this scarf. So you're gonna do the same kind of clump it up here, but you're going to put that in the front of your, in front of your neck, like this at the center. Flip it around in the back, bring the ends. So if you're bringing them forward like that and you can pull down on this a little bit, give yourself some room. But I think that's another really great way to wear it. It's a way you'll see a lot of people wearing it in Europe. And then to take that a step further, you could tie it in the front too. You could just take it like this and tie it and that'll keep it in place a little bit more. Give it a little bit more fluff up here at the neckline. And that's another great look, it shortens it up. So even if you're a little bit smaller, this eats up some of the fabric so you don't have as much length right here. This method, we're gonna take it, put this part in the back and we're just gonna tie this nice and low. 
So it just gives kind of an elongated look. You've got the nice long tassels. Everything's kind of long and elegant and just very pretty. Another way you could wear this is as a cowl. So what you do is you just take this up like this and kind of tuck this in here. And you take this side up and tuck it in in the back. And straighten things out and now you have a cowl look. Great for putting under a jacket that you don't want to have a lot of bulk here. It'll put the bulk back here a little bit and I think that's a nice look too. Now if you want you could also do a tighter cowl where you're wrapping it twice around the neck here and tucking. I think this is probably the warmest neckline option. So you've got this really bulked up here, but I think that's really pretty and it would also be great under a jacket. Okay, another idea I have for you is to wear two scarves together at the same time. So we've got them both, you know, scrunched up the same way. I've got them folded evenly. Just put them together in one hand so that it's like folded in half. Now you're going to take it around and put it through that loop again, like I showed you in the first one, and boom, you've got this gorgeous combination of whatever colors you want to put together, or you could do a solid and a print like I've done here. If you like silk scarves, I've also done a great tutorial on how to wear those. You can check it out right here. And if you like to wear cows, I've done a tutorial on those and you can check that out right here. Let me know in the comments what you've liked. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.